Oh my God, welcome to George's Guide to Ganache. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ganaches. First up is a dairy milk ganache. This one is harder than your regular ganache, which you'd use with dark chocolate because dairy milk is an absolute nightmare to melt and work with because, I know, it's oily, sugary, something about it. Anyway, basically, what we'd normally do is a third cream to chocolate. Does that make sense? So this was 300 grams of chocolate. You want to add 100 grams of cream. I don't do milliliters. I don't believe in milliliters. And then let the chocolate cool a tiny bit. Get the double cream straight out of the fridge. And then mixy, 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 mix. You're going to have to beat this for a while. There is a lot of beating in this video. Um, you want it to come together. Sometimes it will come quick. Sometimes it will take a while. But it will be silky and creamy when it does come, um, come together. Also, here we go doing a milky bar ganache, also quite a tricky one. Same rule of thumb applies, though. You just have to keep beating and beating and beating. If you want a shiny ganache, then you want to add a knob of butter. Lord knows I love adding a knob. Um, it's just perfect. It makes it extra silky in, in colour and, and gloriousness. This is me beating in, in real time. <laughs> Oh, so thick and creamy. Also, if you want to add a flavoring or coloring to the ganache, now's the time. There's a glorious caramel one. Furthermore, so also, if you want to do like a thick set ganache, like in these ones, you actually want to do equal parts cream to chocolate. Mix it the same way. Set it into a tin. I know you're going to think it's runnier, but once it's set, it's basically then easier to cut afterwards. Here's a little bonus tip of making some, some extra ganache. Oh, yeah, that's it. See, you can do sexy. And see how oh, yes. Smother that all over me. See. What, George?